I love you guys sometimes. Uh, okay. Hello, all of you. Doesn't matter at what time it, you have arrived. It matters that you've arrived. <laughs> oh. Sorry I didn't stream on Wednesday. Things just happened. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We've got something to catch up to, I guess. But how are you guys doing? <laughs> doing a bit better as well yes it's Friday indeed indeed uh, the garden warbler I don't know it just it looks a little flat to me um, so I'm just gonna fix that at least in my eyes Add a few little things here and there. I mean, compared to the other birds, it was looking flat, so yes, we're doing this. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Friday's a Friday. <laughs> oh, we had we we had fries just just a while ago. You're looking so you need to bake a honey cake. Ooh, honey cake. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Worked for over 10 hours on Monday and haven't recovered yet. Oh. Oh dear. Well, how about we spin the wheel? If it looks good, it usually tastes better than it looks. <laughs> spin. Okay, okay, okay. I see we are all ready to spin. And oh, there's so many birds on there. <laughs> no, we are not doing bird puns. Oh, okay, we are, <laughs> we are doing bird puns. <laughs> Brambling. I don't know. It sounds like you know. It's just kind of <laughs> it's like saying things without much sense. That what that's what brambling makes me think of. <laughs> Quit bramming about. <laughs> uh. Right. Uh, the, the, the. <laughs> My phone is apparently very slow and doesn't want to load anything today. I've got a battery just in case. I think I've thought of everything, including a white gel pen. Which, because that's looking a little pinkish, I can just touch that up and this too touch that up with some bright gel pen nice <sighs> hello squatting cats yes we are doing birds and I need to find a reference of a brambling because I don't know what it looks like obviously <laughs> <laughs> just in case, is a nice guy. <laughs> just in time. Uh. <laughs> Poor Justin's out there. <laughs> oh, he's not on time this time, is he? I mean, just in time is more like you just about made it. So, are you really on time? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, okay. It looks cute. It looks cute. We just need to find a nice pose. What is? <laughs> Okay, we're getting fluffy poofy. Fluffy poofy. Uh, why are we
we getting? Okay, knitting. Oh, I really like that with the full leaves. Oh, that's so in season right now. <laughs> We've not got a flying bird on here. We've got a flying bird on this page and we've got a flying bird on this page. I feel like we need a flying bird. So what if I ask for flying brambling? Okay. I get pictures of brambling sitting, except for that one. What is, oh my gosh, what bird is that? What kind of bird is this? I'm down for silly. My name is about a cat squatting to... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, to poop. <laughs> what kind of bird is this? I want to know what this purple bird is. <laughs> Right, but we're here for bramblings because that's what the wheel has said. Um, so, brambling it is. Looks very similar to Witcher Finch. But we've already got a very similar pose with the goose. I like those drawings. Who's this? Cheryl Lynn. Very nice. Oh, thank you for following squat, uh, Squatting Cat. Do birds have knees to begin with? Uh, I think they have sort of knees. Uh, I mean, no, doesn't look like it. I mean, at least the small ones don't. Like fl flamingos, I would say they have something that could be said. It's like knees. <laughs> Uh, I did not mean to click on that like that. Uh, that's not what I was, was after. I really like the colours in this one. I'm just going to do that. I know we've got a lot of birds sitting on sticks. <laughs> that's just a running theme for this page. <laughs> Backward knees. I mean, it's... I don't, I don't know bird anatomy enough. <laughs> I thought I had everything, but I don't have a sharpener, and this pencil is not going to do it, I think. Um, I also couldn't find my mechanical pencil. Who knows where I put that? I spot a sharpener over on the other side of a table. Uh, let me find a way there. <laughs> short arms but they're not too short for that. Nice. Yes, I got a new follower. I know. And I hope Scotting Cat is going to have a lot of fun coming here. <laughs> so I think like no. yeah we're doing the birthday stream tomorrow morning ish. Depends on when Abian has time to reveal his uh, word list for our Inktober, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> I haven't seen a word of it and I want to see it. <laughs> Short but functional, the kind of arms needed for the job. Yes. Ah. Okay. I don't like that there is like a little space there, but we have to fill it maybe with a smaller bird. But the brambling is a little bigger than, say, a stone chart. So we can fit that in there. So. Oh. I don't know. Am I allowed to say happy birthday? <laughs> Wait, so is it your birthday tomorrow? Or have you had your birthday and are just celebrating tomorrow because weekend? My actual birthday was yesterday. Okay, then happy birthday! <laughs> I see, okay, happy birthday. I hope you have a lot of fun tomorrow. Happy belated birthday. 
be later. It sounds so, so, so weird. <laughs> I find the English language so fascinating sometimes, right? Okay, so it's like a, oh my goodness, a weird bean shape. <laughs> uh, I haven't drawn in a, in a little bit. I wish I could have drawn on Wednesday, but I was just emotionally not there that day. Which is fine, you know, we all have our days. We all have our days. Uh, Got a very strict beak. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure when middle age crisis is supposed to begin. I don't know. I don't know. I'm only 20, so like. I feel like a midlife crisis would like be in the middle of your life, but since you never know how old you are going to get, you're not going to be entirely sure when it's going to be. I mean, if you're. <laughs> I mean, if the life expectancy was, say, 100 years, your midlife crisis would end up being in, like, 50? <laughs> and around 50? I don't know. <clears throat> right, the eyes. Oh, it's big and nice and dark. I love birds just have really dark eyes. I really love this barn owl. I love it looking at me like that. <laughs> I plan to live to 72. That's a bit specific. <laughs> Your midlife crisis happened when you turned 18. Oh my goodness. Ah, one year above the male average. I mean, that's something to aim for, right? <laughs> and if you can live longer than that, then that's good. Oh, she's got a little fluffy head. I love it. <sighs> I love these birds. They're so nice and fluffy. Or I guess February. I mean, it's not fur. So is it fluffy? I mean, feathers can be fluffy, right? I'm overthinking this word. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right. It's got a nice stomach. And the tail. It's got lots of little cut colours in there. Ugh. My grandparents are 98 and 97. That's that's cool. I don't know my grandparents' ages. I know that my step grandpa is uh okay, I don't know how old he is either. <laughs> I can barely remember how, how old my parents are. <laughs> so um, I guess the fact that I don't remember how my, old my grandparents are is uh, no surprise to me, at least. <laughs> Where is your... No, I did not meant to go to the website, oh my goodness. I just need to zoom in on that foot. <laughs> okay, so we've got the twig kind of going like that. And then kind of back there where the second foot is. Kind of like something like that. And then the third toe is back there. I mean, technically I am learning bird, bird anatomy with this, but I'm also just... <sighs> I'm not learning any names for the bird anatomy, but I'm learning. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. We're just kind of... Eh. Right, the wings start here, kind of. We've got a little round spot like that. Oh, oh 
oh darn it i did not update any of the commands yet yet i was uh, i was going to do it but i was so out of it the past couple of days what grand irish bird naming tournament i've never heard of that <laughs> thank you Correria. thank you for reminding me to sort out my commands on the bot um I would have done it if uh, <laughs> things hadn't started happening. But oh well. Uh, we are here to draw cute birds and escape the things of life. Partially. <laughs> the shadows of the art room. I love past me sometimes. <laughs> We've been lurking in the shadows of it. <laughs> it sounds so ominous. <laughs> Making the cake now. Okay, have fun and I hope it's going to be delicious. Brambling. Oh my goodness, the brambling has a little white spot, like kind of that. Like that. Like a tiny little white triangle. Oh. I'm going to have so much fun. Okay. Um, there's like tiny little yellow lines. I have no idea how I'm going to get those. Oh, okay, okay, one thing at a time, one step at a time. Let's get these sorted. Sorted. Just get these sorted. Right, there's... It's got little black dots. Wait, so it's Kuriria, the poltergeist. Was he all along? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <clears throat> Perhaps he was, I don't know. But he's making cake now, so he cannot answer us. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I am going to take things seriously now. Um, <laughs> right, and it's got a white spot again there. Okay, for the head, it's got a little like orange ish hue ish thing right there, and the rest of that head is grey. Okay, I think we are ready to ink this little brambling he's making cake or is he just outside playing with the cows <laughs> so ominous the lemon trees are looking great back there by the way <clears throat> these little trees there hi <laughs> my little sister just peeked through the window of the door <laughs> how's it growing it's growing quite well one of them has got five growing that one's got three and that one's got three as well. Well, there's a third one off camera, but you can't see it. What kind of trees? Lemon trees. Lemons. We planted them a while back. I've been taking good care of them so far. They'll grow, they'll grow. Just roughly sketching all the different areas of colour where I have it in again. Should perhaps also do something about that eye. And I don't know if I want to colour it in. I haven't managed to convince my dad yet to buy more pots for more oak trees. He thinks two are enough. <laughs> oh no. Overwatered the oak tree. Oh dear. I just need to make sure I water them enough. Um, 
And so far, nothing has been going wrong with the plants yet. So I'm assuming I'm doing a, the right thing with them. <clears throat> At least I'm hoping I am. cactus <clears throat> some of the money trees have recently been flopping over because they're either so long and also i think they might not have enough roots so mum uh told me to give them more water <laughs> which i've been doing and i think they are slowly starting to lift up again which is good <clears throat> I didn't bring my eraser downstairs. Oh my goodness. I didn't bring an eraser downstairs. That is stupid. <sighs> it's fine. We're just gonna ink the rest of these feathers. And I'm going to curse my stupidity quietly. <laughs> asked my brother to, to bring it downstairs <laughs> bread oh, I'm not doing that I I, I, I want to eat the bread we have I don't want to use it as an eraser hopefully my brother won't take long <laughs> okay yes the garden warbler is looking a lot nicer now after the indigo was added to it I don't know why, but I'm really liking blue as an underpainting colour. Thank you. Okay. Eraser acquired. <laughs> Cheap and easy. <coughs> Free labour. <laughs> Joking. Of course. I'm not using my siblings as free labour. <laughs> That would be silly. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. We've got some paint to add. Um, right, I think we're going to continue to <laughs> experiment with some of these underpaintings. <clears throat> but since it's orange, in a lot of parts, I think indigo would be just fine, or at least fader blue first, and then indi in indigo color ish. If I can get enough space on this palette, <laughs> I've stocked up on the inks though, and I've gotten them some nice little containers, and I'm hoping that's going to be okay for them. Right, there's some really dark stuff around here and then here I've got a little loop here I'm just gonna loosely figure out where everything goes shadow wise I 
And this time, if I draw over any spots that are supposed to be white, I have an eraser. Uh, not an eraser, um, a white gel pen. White, white gel pen. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Talking is difficult today, apparently. How's the gel pens compared to normal pens? I mean, it's, I don't know. I haven't used any other white pens, but it usually, I don't know. I, I just like to use it for like little details or when I'm say paint over areas that are supposed to be white and then just realize it as I'm after I've painted it on, that it was supposed to be white and not um, whatever colour I ended up putting. <laughs> but you know, it happens sometimes and then you need a solution for it. And my solution is a gel pen. <laughs> I used gel pens in my first year in uni, but the shop I got them from stopped selling them for some reason. Dad messing around in the compost, apparently. Oops. <clears throat> right, should we? <laughs> Things have to be done, you know, going to work. <clears throat> Let's, uh, right. <laughs> oh, it's unfortunate that he's uh, <clears throat> currently... Okay, let's spin the wheel again, see what we get. Maybe we can fit a small bird in there. He's too far away, I don't think any details can be seen. Yeah, but he's there. <laughs> but oh well, he knows I'm streaming and he knows there's a risk of him being seen, especially if it's a nice sunny day, like today. Oyster catcher, <laughs> okay. We're catching some oysters. Uh, this must be an oyster loving bird oyster catcher right first let's uh let's write down brumbling um you can just see his black shirt and the, st the, the fact that he's moving something uh i didn't really realize until you mentioned it i wonder what activity that bird performs really really often <laughs> i think it's like a, a seabird Probably likes oysters, I'm assuming. <clears throat> I'm just assuming some things here. <laughs> assuming that the bird likes oysters. No, I want to do some orange. Can, can I get some orange? Let's get some orange-ish colour. Or some light red, you know. It's called light red, which I guess it is. I'm not the best at lettering, but I like my own handwriting enough to do this, I guess. Okie dokie. Is it fish day? Is it surfing? Is it oystering? What about all of the above? <laughs> How about all of the above? Oh wait, no, 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 no. I forgot to save the reference. Um, not good. My reference, I need my reference again. Shoot. Reference come back. Darn it. Where's the reference? Gone. Okay, fine. Let's look for Brumbling. Darn it. I really need that reference. I know it was sitting on some thin twigs. Uh. 
Pinterest. Give me re my reference back. <laughs> this is like cows who showed up and then <laughs> vanished. Yeah, he left. Uh, come back, my reference, please. I need you. Uh, please come back. Uh, I should have saved it, but I didn't remember to. History in the settings. Um, no, doesn't seem to be. Eh. Why am I getting a I am not getting anything if I ask it to give me a rumbling sitting on a twig. We're facing the wrong way. And we're not the right bird. The right bird being the one that I was drawing. Ugh. How come it's not coming up with it again? Ugh. All right, fine. We're just going to save some of the brumbling bird pictures and I'm just going to use those as the reference for now. I'm just going to save bird in the art references. Da. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. Home feed turner. Fingers of mine is in German, so. But I guess. Okay. Found it. Thank you. I guess that means I can remove the other two from the thing because I've got the third back. And the other one. Okay, so now we can find a reference for an oyster catcher. Oy oyster catcher. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, it's got a very long beak. Oh, look at that little baby. We've got a lot of fun. Oh, okay, fine. We'll sort out the battery first, if you will, camera. <laughs> Unplug. Take out. I love the really red beak it's got. And the eye. Got some fun little pictures where it's like dipping its beak in the water. Maybe it's trying to catch some. That's the wrong thing. I was supposed to change out the battery. Looks like it's might be. It might be trying to catch some oysters. <laughs> Humans are so literal in their naming. Unless it's about tits. I wonder why it's so orange. Like, does that help with catching oysters? I don't know. The Arctic Turn also has a really red beak. Is it just a feature of seabirds to have red beaks? 
Maybe it's a distant relative of the flamingo. The shape is kind of similar, but smaller. Maybe. Maybe. Let me just bring that in. And connect the wire. Uh, not the wire, the cable. There must be some evolutionary, evolutionary reason to that. Maybe lady uh, oyster catchers find orange beaks particularly attractive. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly. But I like the this image. See, this one's got kind of an E. That is a that is a knob that could be that probably serves as a way to bend the leg. If that's our definition of knee. The witch of marine biology. Uh, no, no. I, I haven't studied any marine bio biology. I'm only guessing. Very attractive pose. Let's do it. <laughs> Looks very interesting and I love it. Right, let's put it right here. Uh, let's put it right here. I first do this full body and the head is kind of going like this and then we've got the beak. <laughs> uh, and you're not seeing anything because the sun is shining. The witch of guess. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> got one leg like that and then another leg here. Okay. I just remembered I gotta change my server nick to something more snowy. It's almost time. How about something spooky first? It's almost time for the spook it's 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 so weird. Like in the shops you've got Christmas aisles already, but like very little Halloween y fall. It's like it barely exists and it's really weird. like Christmas isn't for another October, October, November, three months. It's not for another three months. Feels a bit weird to me to do it this early. With candy canes and silver lanes that glow. I mean, Christmas has an appeal, obviously, but it's autumn. <laughs> it's not winter. It's autumn. Spooky snowman. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Alrighty. This is fairly simple. But I've never drawn this kind of weird angle of a bird. Pupil and one around that there's this walnut shaped ring. Wow. Witch of paint, mistress of description. <laughs> that should be on the prompt list. It's so spooky you've got spooked before seeing it <laughs> by this prompt. <laughs> Spoiler alert, the word spooky isn't in the prompt list. <laughs> ah, okay. Good to know. I mean, generally, it should be obvious we should be doing something spooky during Inktober. Okay, so we've got... Oh, wait, it's a little bit... Bend. <laughs> it looks so 
strange to me. It's fine. We're here for all the interesting birds, right? We've got water right here. Kind of looks a little bit like it's smiling, which is kind of cute. Like it's happy that it's putting its beak into the water. I mean, depending on where the water is, it might be warm or cold. Stop making me Google very fancy word. The word sesquipedalian isn't in the pump list. Neither is otorhinolaryngologist. Mostly because of sizing issues. Too short. What do you mean too short? <laughs> What kind of words have you put in the prompt list? Got a pink lumpy knee and then nice long leg and then like this, obviously, with some um, Schwimmhäuten. <laughs> Nick more knows what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Schwimmhäute. The first word is Pneumonoultramicroscopic Silicovolcanoconiosis. The second one is an easy one. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> whatever you say, whatever you say. I mean, I can't uh, deny any of it because I haven't seen the list. So everything you say is kind of like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have spoiled. Oh, don't be sorry, don't be sorry. Spoilers can be fun if they're in the right place at the right time. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> I love this one. It's completely okay. Da -da -da -da. A nice texture. Spoilers can be fun if they're completely made up. <laughs> you shall never know until tomorrow. Uh, you're making it really exciting though. I'm giving you a... Oops. It's got very pink legs. I like it. Pink is a nice colour. There we go. Okie dokie. There's a race that. Mm -hmm. Ow! Scratched myself. 
So when is the stream tomorrow? I missed that. Uh, well, I was thinking 10 o'clock, which would be 11 for Abian. Because he wanted, to, uh, because I was thinking he revealed it while I was streaming tomorrow morning. I can't do the afternoon um, because I'm doing something, but I can do it in the morning tomorrow. That's a good time. Good. <laughs> so. Where I shall be. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited for tomorrow. I haven't exactly looked at the official Inktober list. But I'm not going to be doing it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? From then on, I mean, I am going to stream every day, mostly at three o'clock, if I can. If I can't, I will do it in the mornings. I gotta admit something, one of the words from a 2023 Inktober, I had also added on my own before seeing the official one. Don't know how I managed to guess one of them. Well, out of all the words in the language I was bound at some point you're bound to have the same word on two different prompt lists it's just a thing with languages isn't it Especially with the autumn spooky theme, like they had to be overlaps. Exactly. Exactly. You're bound to get something overlapping. I might do a stream extension just because I don't want to leave too early today. Right, this time we'll remember the oyster catcher. looks very cute. I knew must, I must have used flotchy notchy not not <laughs> nah, instead of the one they picked. They would have never guessed it and I wouldn't have known what it meant. <laughs> Right, the brambling is dry, that's good. Um, I really like the bright orange of the beak from the oyster catcher, but I also use a lot of orange writing already. Well, we can brighten it up with a little bit of yellow, and then add some more of this. To be fair, last year you had to look up crabby. <laughs> Okay, 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 but to my defense, uh, I, 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 I wasn't sure if it was a verb, so, so, you know, you know, I just looked it up too. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Um, technically means to be like, uh, to not be in a good mood. Don't get too grab crabby about it or you'll get crabbed. I thought it's a Pokemon. 
<laughs> no, it's an English verb, apparently. <laughs> or is it, wait, no, not verb, adjective. That's crabby with a K. <laughs> G, okay, so specific. I'm gonna add a little bit of indigo into it just because I think that would help differentiate that name from the other names that are orange in this one. But I'm not doing it in any specific place, which is great. <laughs> water there oops <laughs> so thanks to google i learned that the longest basque word is 40 letters long <laughs> oh my goodness that must have been butchered so badly and it could be a surname in the lower field of a sheep Fold located in the height of Aspilicueta. She. Anything could really be the longest German word, I'd say. Because you can add so many words to each other. <laughs> you could play that game forever. Oops, I moved the sketchbook up a bit. Mm. There's a little orangish section right here. And again, uh, here. Well, maybe we can use some of this brighter colour. Technical Google has an answer. Kraftfahrzeug, Haftpflichtsversicherung. Print, Fleisch, Etikettierungs, Überwachungsaufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. German. Never mind. Google can't translate. Google, Google can't make up their mind. Donau, Dampfschiff, Fahrts, Elektrizitäten, Haupt, Betriebswerk, Bau unter Beamtengesellschaft. <lacht> Ah. Yeah. <clears throat> German is a fun language sometimes. <laughs> yeah, because it's like she said, you can just continue forever by stringing more words together. And what does it mean? Um <laughs> uh, So I don't know how to translate it. <laughs> like, I kind of know what it means, but, um... Tr translation... I don't know how to translate it exactly. Oh, sorry, are you dry, sir? I suppose, kind of. Something ship electricity company something something. So, I know. All right, the Do Donau is a river in Germany, so it's a ship on the Donau. Gesellschaft, I know, means something like company. I think so. So it's a company. Uh. 
Yeah, don't know is River Danube. Right, Danube, that's the English word for it. Danube sounds weird. There's a cake called the Donauwelle. I really miss it when mum, I, I really miss mum making that. Donauwelle. Nom nom nom. I haven't had it in years. <laughs> I miss it. Right, we're gonna get some sip here. You know what, I just realised I didn't bring my swatch cut down here. But it's okay, I know my colours enough to get through this. Okay. Don't bother about lines, they only distract. <laughs> oh no, I'm joking. I mean, they're just like a vague guideline for me right now. It's a sketchbook, not a full on painting. We can do, s we should can just take some exceptions. Right, this area needs to be particularly dark. Oh, there's a hair in my palette. Uh, it's got. Uh, the cake has got cherries in it, I remember, and something chocolatey, I think. Uh, it's kind of like a layered cake, and it's usually, I think, in a whole um, baking tray, but it's like a one with a slightly hairy border. Kind of, I think. <sighs> like I said, I haven't had it in forever, uh, so I'm not really all that sure. Look at me, oyster catch it, looks so cute. I didn't want to go dark, too dark immediately. So, just gonna keep it like that. Right, the brambling can have some indigo wing details. It's really nice from what I remember from when I was like teeny tiny. <laughs> okay. which of cakes <laughs> yeah but I do miss it a little bit that cake if I had it again it probably would wake a lot of nostal nostalgia you know what I mean <laughs> what about the good old days you know <laughs> right let's keep let's keep going Spin the wheel again, I'd say, because these two need to dry. So, da -da -da. oh no, should I warn them that there's some, some very uh, not so see through? No, don't. Okay, too late. Green winged teal. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going for green, which is nice because we've got we've had a lot of yellow and orange, so green sounds good, and so does teal. <laughs> I forgot to. S oh my goodness! I'm so so sorry. Did I remove the thing already? Yeah, I removed it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh my goodness. I got a little distracted because I suddenly saw my two sisters walking by. You probably saw them back there. So. <laughs> don't, don't, oh goodness. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah. Uh, okay, next, next bird, I, I promise, next bird. Green w winged teal. 
Oh, he's a little ducky. Well, it kind of looks like a duck. No. Look at this one. We trust you. It was that bird and not a T-word one. No, it's a green-winged teal. Green-winged teal. This one's also kind of nice. It would fit quite nicely, like, here, across this. Yes, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing that. Okay, okay. I wouldn't lie to you, you know. Right, we've got... There we go, we've got a flying bird now, huh? <laughs> it looks very cute and colourful. And we're gonna get some green in there, which is nice. I like the green. Green is a very nice colour. Right, we've got the eye right about there. And then we've got the green thing. Sean Black. The neck needs to be a little bit longer. Kind of looks like a duck, you know. It looks very duck-like. Is it a duck species? <sighs> so many questions. Feathers kind of like this. <laughs> ah, you. I love you. Right, sorry, there's my two sisters just waving through the window, looking at me, and now they're leaving. Goodbye. seems so random I'm sorry <laughs> uh. right let's get some of these feathers sketched in it's getting wider towards this bit so I like that. Kind of. Maybe you were doing a love it sign to a poltergeist. Who knows? Nah, it was it was it was at my sisters, my two little, my two younger sisters. I was about to say little, but one of them isn't little. At least not smaller than me anymore. <sighs> kind of sucks have someone younger than you but taller than you not that you know and I, I don't allow them to have their height you know but like <laughs> I'm the older sibling I should be taller <laughs> I request to be taller than my siblings <laughs> to be taller in general because I'm kind of short <laughs> Oh, very thin white border right across these feathers, only those, and then you've got some green feathers. 
which is very interesting. I bet for being tall is overrated. I can't reach things sometimes. Do it like me and just buy kitty furniture. <laughs> I mean that works. Kitty furniture is a lot more colourful anyway. people at Toys R Us won't let me buy any more Legos, how am I supposed to build myself a cupboard? <laughs> IKEA! <laughs> exactly, IKEA is the solution to... It's a... IKEA is a very fun furniture place. I like, the kind... I like the kind of kids that they had back in, back when I was a small little child. They sell Legos in IKEA? I don't think they do. I mean, I've seen, I, I know that they sell art supplies, which is kind of odd. Should I buy IKEA art supplies at some point? Because I think they've got a watercolor set. <laughs> True, they do keep you for sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Remember that time I bought a hand from IKEA? Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. <laughs> IKEA brand Legos, of course. You should indeed buy and get free IKEA pencils. <laughs> I don't know when the next time I'm going to IKEA is going to be, though. So, uh, might never come around to it because the IKEA here is the only IKEA here is in Dublin. Also, son, what are you doing? Get out of my picture would really really appreciate it <laughs> if you would get out of my painting thank you thank you hmm. i'll go next week if you guess correctly where i need to go you'll earn a gold star <laughs> uh furniture cups candles uh what else has there chairs kitchen There's a lot of stuff you could buy in a, at Ikea and also your previous Ikea chair broke down and you need a new one. <laughs> Replace Ikea with Ikea because why, why not? Matches? Okay, I didn't expect that either. You can get matches from Ikea. Well, I suppose that you would have to because they also sell candles. I mean, last time I got five kilograms worth of fried onions for free, so... <laughs> they have these really long matches and upset. Ah, really long. They're good if you want to light a lot of candles, you know. So I get why you would be obsessed with them. I like candles. Yeah, that seems like the appropriate amount of feathers in that area. I just also need to have this sketched in. I can't be super accurate with all of these feathers because uh, that would be an absolute nightmare to draw. 
mostly. I'm obsessed with grabbing random plushies and taking selfies with them. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I mean, I like looking at the plushies, but I think I've never bought a plushie. I remember back when we were living in Germany, we had like these uh, little lamps in the shape of moons. That was very cute. At least I think they were moons. I don't remember if we had the moon ones or the other one. I think one of them was pink. Was it flower or star? Was it supposed to be a starfish? This stream has been proudly sponsored by IKEA. No, it hasn't! <laughs> it has not been sponsored by anyone. We just randomly started talking about it. That's all. There are other places to buy furniture, although I cannot think of them because I've only ever known IKEA as a as a furniture supplier. <laughs> kind of works against my point, I suppose, but um we'll get past that. We can look past it. Right. Bye. Right. There's these two small ones that are kinda of like together like that. appropriate to me at least right, let's fix that tail area because I think it's kind of off ah perfect timing for shift change I need to get my laundry <laughs> okay see you tomorrow so now she'll get an email from Ikea oh my goodness I hope not I hear Ikea sponsors no no we're not sponsored the door is done oh okay nice where are the Ikea links? I'm trying to find some new nice bed. I'm sorry, we're not we're not sponsored by Ikea. <laughs> I'm not even sure why would why they would sponsor me. Um not that I'm not sponsor worthy, but um I don't really have a lot to do with furniture, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. Hi again. <laughs> that was my siblings again, my sisters. Right, for the very tiny white line it's got underneath its eye, I'm going to just add in post with a white gel pen because I can't be bothered to try and leave that small of a white space clear. You know what I mean? With dice for cakes. Tomorrow Ludum there shall start again too. Can make another game although my teammate got COVID solo. Ah. I hope he gets better. Um Don't 
mine is very loose feather work. Um, <clears throat> I'm just doing my best with what I've got. It's supposed to go like that. So, you know, good luck with the loot on there. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be fun. Do -do -do. Is it just me or is the other wing just very, very a lot smaller? I think it should be smaller, but it's no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's not get worried over nothing. Focus on the feathers. Okay, Abian, you you <laughs> you do not have a squeaky voice. It's very very nice, um, but I don't know how I I don't know I just adjectives to describe voices. Um, oh hi, Dutuzi. It's been a while, but thank you. Uh, been streaming for a bit longer today than I usually would but that doesn't really matter oh sibling alone no mom alone no dad sorry that's dad again <laughs> uh. Me getting him mixed up with every other member of my family except for him. Oopsies. Sorry, Dad. Is it like fine aged cheese that's been melded together with almonds? I'm not sure that's the words I would describe. It used to describe Abian's voice. <laughs> it doesn't really make me think of food. But I don't think it's squeaky. Um, uh, I really don't know how to describe it. Uh, I haven't heard it in a while either, but it's definitely not squeaky. I mean, it is a lower, maybe, but not like as low as some male voices, I guess. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness, this, this bird is a bit fat. Um, not fat, but like a little bit round. But I think it's supposed to be this way, so it's fine. Oh, sorry. My laptop decided to ask me about virus protection, which is not the time right now. <laughs> it's not the time for that. Thank you. Oh, it's getting really cloudy again. 
like the whole sky is white and it's getting ca uh, cold no i don't think it's irish because the laptop is not irish it's german i think yeah it's got the air ooh, ooh. <laughs> on it it's a german german laptop right green winged teal very fun bird right let's actually you know what since it's green let's use um green as an underpainting i've got a german keyboard layout too just because nobody bothers to make Estonian layouts for good keyboards. That sucks. That's really, really, really mean. They should make Estonian keyboards. And that way I can also paint in the green areas, which is fun. Okay, have fun making that cake. <laughs> We're not eating any birds, thank you, but uh, enjoy your cake. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Sun, get out. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just work on the brambling. Uh, let me get to my profile. To art preferences. I'm glad we found more than just a couple of birds and twigs, although the perspectives on this side is very fun. I feel like we could add a bird here maybe, and a bird here, which kind of would be fun. And then maybe one up here, or down there. Maybe a chance to add a tiny little bird on the top right. That's true, that's true, but first, uh, <clears throat> the other birds need some work and attention too, you know. So let's give them the attention they deserve. get some neutral tint somewhere on this palette actually <laughs> making the birds birdier let me just wipe off this weird gray color that seems a little bit too opaque to use OK, 
it okay. Adds a bit of neutrality to this. We'll add more details in a moment because it's got some very nice colour variation there. Generally, it's grey. Legs are grey too. some indigo well not indigo but like technically black but I'm not feeling like using black today so I'm gonna do that okay I'm gonna take some sepia a little bit of indigo Yes, that's the right colour around about. I know technically the bird is black and I get that, but there's like a little bit of dark brownish hues in there, so I don't want to lose those. And we can also add some indigo here and there. make the darkness a little bit more obvious. <clears throat> we'll see how it dries. We'll see. Right, a lot of this duck bird <laughs> is white brown like it only has green highlights but we are going to sort the brown out first put it on there Okay, now we can properly spin the wheel again. There we go. Switched to the shared screen. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, 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 chif chaff. <laughs> chif chaff. Okay, I think that's a small one. Chiff, chaff, remove, minimize, and back to this. Yes, it's a tiny little birdie. <gasps> it's got a caterpillar. Oh, what's that in his mouth? Hmm. 
think we'll only have space for like a sitting one, perhaps. Although that is so cute. But I don't want to draw more wings. So we are going to do this. <laughs> in this corner. Little chief chaff. <laughs> round guy. So round. <laughs> I know. It's like a little ball of floof. Like so many other little birdies. It's like the stone chat and the fire crest is pre pretty fluffy as well. Although this one beats everything. <laughs> Pointy equals not good, but round is. My way of telling which birds are cool and which birds are naughty is just to, ch to check its roundness. I mean, a lot of birds are kind of chubby, you know, a little bit round and fluffy. Like this one, this one's very round. All of these are round. Fluff is always good. Well, you can have a fluffy mean bird. I'm just saying. It's all almost mainly one color, which is very interesting. I'm not sure what it's sitting on though. Maybe a stone statue of sorts? I don't know. Oh, it's got very long toes. Hmm. Okay, let's draw the eye. There's like little yellow details right here. Oh no, I made it look mean. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to make it look mean. Saved it, I think. Ooh. Okay, I'm going a little bit overboard with this. Cute and fluffy. Look at it. Mm, I like it very much. <sighs> oh, 
Okay. just move that because my hand keeps bumping into it there we go a little bit more freedom there So we've got this thing. Okay, that's sort of what it looks like. Very round, very fluffy. All of them are so incredibly cute. I know! They are all so different, which is so much fun. I'm never going to get tired of painting these birds. Never. Never, ever, ever. Right, there's a little bit of yellow poking out in a lot of these areas, so I'm just gonna... some yellow here and there just to mix things up you know I've been using an awful lot of blue but this guy's got some yellow poking out in certain areas One's got like some greyish shadows. I think that's enough. Mark it in the outdoor fences. <laughs> right, let's go with a slightly smaller brush for this. I'm going to use, I don't remember what colour this is. But it looks very much like the head of a duck. Well, not duck, green winged uh, teal, sorry. <laughs>
Oops, that might have been a little bit too much. I mean, poor duck, how could you misname them? them? I mean, green wings, teal. It's just like calling the teal cards in, Uno, in, in the Discord Uno light blue. See? It's not nice to misname things. I'm joking, of course. <clears throat> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Stand by the colour I picked, a light blue gang. <laughs> Gee, chill out. But it is a teal. Definitely 100% a teal colour. I'm not. What you've named it? Speaking of which, are you up for some Uno afterwards? If you can, of course, no pressure. Oh yeah, we can we can play Uno a bit. I've got nothing else to do. And not much energy to do anything else anyway, so... Yeah, I'm up for it. I don't mind. We gotta finish these birds first, though. How about we get some of his eye colour then? From the oyster catcher, I mean. Okay. On to the glorious beak. I'm in no hurry, I can stay watching birds come to life all afternoon. I could paint them all afternoon at the moment. I'm not in the mood for much else. Oops, painted over the line there. Shh. Nobody ever saw that. to mix some sort of light pink but it's not really that pink so well, let's see what I can come up with close enough close enough You can hardly even see the colour though. <sighs> Sun, go away. I'm not even seeing any blue sky. What are you at? Shh. I can't wait for the time of year when the, around this time it's getting dark anyway. 
<laughs> Those will be times. Hmm. A lot of this green is still coming out, which is a bit ooh, weird at first, I suppose. Because obviously the main colour of the bird is brown. And not the green. The green are the highlights. Yes, but it's not the main colour. So we have to deal with that wants to see your art so bad it's shining through five layers of clouds. <laughs> well, but in the process, it's concealing the art from you, <laughs> mostly. I'm doing my best to keep it from hiding the art. <laughs> got to play you get to play shadows <laughs> that is very true that's true and I mean suppose it's fun in a way but only in a way I don't want to be playing shadows for the entire stream you know okay let me just that should do for that. Right, we're going to get some nicely saturated indigo. We're just gonna put a little bit on here and here. Shaping these areas to make the other some other areas here very dark in particular. the green wing areas also need a little bit of shadow and over painting painting over I mean oops that's no, fine Okay, uh, oh, I haven't written down the name of the chief chaff yet, so let me just do that. Lovely. Right, onto the chief chaff painting. Need a very light layer. I think this colour sepia, I don't remember exactly. 
but I think it's sepia. It's got some very light and delicate colours and I love it. It's adorable. Small, cute, and fluffy. Just the way we like our birds, right? Just the way we like our birdies. Let's attempt to shade a little bit of this. But also the beak, this lovely, lovely orange beak. To be fair, I'm going to like any bird you draw because you draw them very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Although recently, I mean, this is kind of a weird new pay. Wait, not well, not a weird new way, but like um, a slightly new way of painting. I'm only experimenting a little bit with these underpainting. See how it. Turns out how I like it. Because I haven't been using underpaintings for like particularly long, so I'm still exploring with ground here, testing what's going to work and what isn't. Okay, there's a, an incredibly fine orange ring around the. Yeah, I missed it. No, that's not what was supposed to happen there. <laughs> we'll darken this Sora up in a moment again. Is this even the smallest? I don't think it's the smallest. No, it's the number two one. Let's get the zero brush. Get some of this paint. That's as good as I'm going to get it. Okay. I should probably stop soon. We can finish the chip chaff off next time. Um, but if we are going to play Uno, I should stop soon so we can have some time to play. I never signed this page last time. Oh well. It's fine. Let's sign this. Oh wait, there's never gonna be a next time, is there? Let's just sign. I don't remember what part is. Yeah, you gotta get ready for tomorrow morning. That too. That was stream four, so that was stream five, so that was stream six. And this is for ten the twenty twenty three stream. Stream five. Let me just put my name on there. <laughs> Lovely. Pretend this is coming to an end, that's a shame. I know. But I would love to do this again. Like, just paint some random birds. Because I've learned a lot drawing these. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, 
Octopus Bird counts too. I may have to fix that on the prompt. Don't make too many changes before tomorrow, you know. <laughs> There we go. Haha. <laughs> we can get all of them seen. <laughs> right. Um, I'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. I can 100% assure you that your bird drawing level could fit in a proper illustrated book. Aw, thank you. <laughs> At this point, yeah, I agree with you. This is, this has been very fun, very entertaining and very educational for me, <laughs> at least. I hope you had fun as well doing bird timber. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> yes, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Or, well, in the Discord chat to play Uno. <laughs> Bye!